hi everyone welcome back to jewish kitchen i hope everyone is doing amazing in today's video i am going to share with you how to make a very simple but easy goat meat pepper soup so if you are interested please keep watching this recipe with me and i'll see you next time for another mystery recipe so let's get started so i have washed and cleaned my meat and this is cooked meat without the skin i'm going to blend anise seeds dried rosemary star anise and peppercorn together with one onion some garlic cloves fresh ginger and one red pepper or pointed pepper I am also going to add tomato puree or tomato paste and I'm going to add my Sankofa soup seasoning, one of my favorite. And of course, I'm going to add some salt to taste. So I've got everything in my blender and then I am going to blend it until smooth and pour it all over the meat. Then I'm going to rinse the blender with a little bit of water and add it to the pot stir it and then since this is a very quick and easy recipe I'm going to add my veggies directly in the pot so I've got my fresh tomatoes I've got my onions and this is optional but I also like to add a little bit of aubergine which is also eggplants you can also use the african garden eggs if you prefer so now let's cover and let simmer hey guys i am back just going to check on my soup and going to give it a little stir my veggies are not quite soft yet so i'm going to wait a little bit more so guys me again now i'm pretty sure the tomatoes onions and aubergine are cooked so i'm going to take them out of the pot and put them directly in my blender of course i'm going to remove the toothpicks from the onion i just put it there to keep the onions together you don't have to do that you can also put the onion whole in the pot but i just want to do it quickly so yeah i did not blend the toothpick <laughs> All right, so remove onion, tomatoes, and pepper, and also aubergine or eggplant. Okay, guys. You can also use canned tomatoes if you want. So this is it, and I am going to blend it just like that without adding any water to it. And this is it. Pour it back into the pot, and now it is time to add water to the level I want or the consistency I want this is light of the soup so I want it a bit light yeah so I'm adding more water to it then for the seasoning I'm going to add food seasoning and also going to add a bit more of my Sankofa soup seasoning and that's it can also add some salt if you want whatever seasoning you want to add just giving it a quick stir and then I'm going to add my mushrooms I love me some mushrooms in my soups in all types of soups so these are the close cup white mushrooms you can also use the oyster ones that are my favorite but unfortunately I couldn't get any oyster ones but these ones will do and I didn't use all of my um, aubergine or eggplant so I'm going to add it to it and some red pointed chilies so it cooked for a further 15-20 minutes on a medium heat to low and this is it my soup is ready you can see how amazing it looks and it smells heavenly so now I'm going to show you how it looks like. Just imagine this perfect cold meat soup with your fufu, 
or with whatever you decide to eat it with just leave me in the comments tell me what you like eating your Ghanaian goat milk soup with look at this perfect soup this is how your soup should look like this is original and easy Ghanaian goat milk soup aponche in kaka yeah aponche in kaka yeah so guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video uh do not hesitate to leave me comments or to send me a message if you need any more information or clarification and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already share my videos and i'll see you next time for another mrs Julie recipe thank you all for watching and stay blessed god bless you bye, -bye.